hello friends myself amar now in this video i will show you how to create slider in flutter okay now before going into the code let me tell you if you don't know about flutter then you can refer my tutorial series and the link of the tutorial series you can find in the description of my video okay let's start now here you can see this is a slider and the slider can be moved and the corresponding selected values you can display inside the text okay how to do this this portion i will discuss right now to create this slider we need to use a plugin so here what i have done i have created a project named as flutter fluid slider demo and inside this pubspec.yml what i have done i have used a slider or here i have used a plugin named as flutter fluid slider the link you can find in the description of my video okay now after using this plugin you need to synchronize it by clicking on packages get once it is done then you can move to this main.dart file here what i have done you can see inside the main method there is a run app method inside this run app method i am inflating a widget named as fluid slider demo now this fluid slider demo is a stateful widget that's why it is extending the stateful widget class and it is returning uh, uh, another class which is called as fluid slider demo state okay and this class has been created here okay this class is extending state of which widget this is extending the class of the widget fluid slider demo that is this one okay now in this class that is fluid slider demo state i have created a variable named as current value and the initial value i have set as 0.0, .0. remember in dart everything is an object if you don't initialize a variable by default its value will be null right now inside the build method there is a material app widget and in the so check mode banner i have made it as false to make the debug banner invisible the title of the material app i have given as fluid slider demo now in the home of the material app i am using a scaffold widget and in the app bar i have given a title as fluid slider as you can see the title of the app bar is fluid slider okay now in the body of the scaffold i have used a material widget in the material widget as a child i am using a column widget right now this column widget has some properties cross axis alignment and main axis alignment now what it is doing here if you don't use this properties then see what happen just let me remove this now here you can see if i save this then you will see the slider is moved to the top position to bring it to the center i have used these two properties okay once you put these two properties here then you can see it is moved to the center okay that is the functionality of these two properties right now as a children of this column widget i have used the padding widget and the, i have given a padding of 16.0 from all sides okay and to use this fluid slider we need to use a class fluid slider and that's why here i have imported the package fluid slider dart okay if you don't use this package then you will not be able to use this fluid slider class right now this fluid slider widget has some properties the first one is the value now in the value i have given current value what is the current value zero okay this means when we start the project by default the slider value will be zero this means it will come to zero the slider value will be zero right now it has a, another property on change this will fire when we will move the slider okay and when we will move the slider then the new value is stored inside this variable and the value which is stored is inside this variable that i am assigning to the current value variable okay now it has some few more properties one is mean means the minimum value as you can see the minimum value is zero and the max is 100 this means the maximum value right 
now i will discuss this properties later on after that as the second child of this column widget what i have used i have used a text widget right and this text widget is wrapped inside a padding widget and i have given a padding of 16.0 now what will be displayed in the text in the text i am displaying selected value is the value which has been stored inside the current value variable and since the value stored inside the current value variable will be a double value what i am doing is that maximum two digits will be displayed after this decimal value and to do that i am using a method which is called as two string as fixed and here i am specifying how many values should be displayed after the decimal here i have specified two this means after the decimal value two values will be displayed so whatever value selected from this slider that will be stored inside the current value variable and the value which has been stored inside the current value variable is displayed as a text right and i have styled the text i have given the font size as 16 i have given the color as purple and the font width i have specified as bold okay and after doing this if you run the project then you will get the output like this okay and this is the entire code as you can see let me start from the beginning this is the entire code just have a look this is the entire code right if you run this then you will get output like this now here the fluid slider contains few more properties let me start with the start now this is the start property of the fluid slider now if you use a start then what will happen instead of this minimum which has been displayed as zero if you use the start then whatever widget you will use in the start that will be displayed inst instead of this minimum value okay so here in start i have used a icon and in the icon i have displayed as a star and the color of the icon i have given as white now let me save this and you will be able to see that is instead of zero star has been displayed similarly in the end if you use the end property then whatever widget you are displaying that will be displayed in the end this means this 100 will not be displayed instead of this max this end icon will be displayed let me save this and you will see the corresponding change see it has been displayed here right now by default the slider color will be same as the theme color and the theme color is blue light blue that's why the slider color is also blue but if you want to change the slider color then you can use the slider color property i have given the slider color as purple then you can see the slider color is changed right similarly the thumb color which is coming here if you want to change the thumb color that also you can do by default the thumb color will be same as the slider color right now let me save this now if you can see the thumb color has been the thumb color has been changed to green okay you can see here the thumb color has been changed to green okay these are the properties now let me tell you one more thing it has few more properties which i have written in the comment as you can see here it has another property that is called as the label labels text style what it will do the styling of the mean and max text that gets displayed on the slider if not provided the ancestor themes ascent text theme text will be applied okay by using this label text style similarly it has another property which is called as the value text style what it will do it will control the styling of the current value text that gets displayed on the slider okay you can use these properties to do the modifications okay and this is the entire code so i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel share my videos you guys can follow me on facebook instagram and twitter also and the links you can find in the description of my video thank you so much